All right, today I'm going to teach you how to solve this kind of trigonometric question. The question tells you sine theta equals to p, and the question also tells you the theta is between 90 to 180. Why the question want to give you the range of this theta? Because the question actually wants you to draw a triangle at the second quadrant, which is between 90 and 180. So right now what I'm doing is I will draw a triangle at the second quadrant. So this is between 90 to 180, isn't it, at this quadrant? And then my angle will be always at the middle. And your triangle must look exactly like this. You cannot simply draw the triangle another way. If the adjacent must be always on the x-axis, all right? And then the angle must be always at the middle. You cannot say the theta is on the top here. It will be wrong. Okay, so after that, you just need to know uh, what is sine theta. Sine theta is p, right? But you cannot say it is p only because sine is what? Opposite over hypotenuse. So you want to know what is the hypotenuse. If you see p over here, you need to do over 1 by yourself, which is p will be opposite and 1 will be hypotenuse. So therefore, p will be opposite and then the 1 will be the hypotenuse. So it will be p over 1. Alright, so right now, what you need to do is, you need to find what is your adjacent. And then in order to find the adjacent, you need to use the Pythagoras. And what is Pythagoras? Pythagoras basically is 1 square minus p square. And then you square it. So it will be square root of 1 minus p square. Okay, okay. now I have all the three sides. That means from this triangle, I can easily find out sine, cos, tangent if I wanted to find. Alright, so okay. then first thing is I want to solve the part A. They asked me to find in terms of p, what is the cosec theta. If you do not know what is the cosec theta, you just see the 1, 2, 3, the third letter is S, isn't it? It means it is 1 over sine theta. So my A is just 1 over sine theta. This is the meaning of cosec theta. And then what is sine theta? It's P. So answer is just 1 over P. It's very easy. But if I go to the part B, you need to know the formula for sine 2 theta. This is the double angle formula. So what is sine 2 theta? Sine 2 theta will be 2 sine theta cos theta, isn't it? So I apply the formula, I know it's 2 sine theta cos theta. And then the next thing is, I want to find the cos theta. Sine theta is P, it's very easy. But then I do not know what is my cos theta. This is the reason why I say when you solve the triangle, you can easily find the sine cos tangent from the triangle itself. Then if I want to find the cos theta here, it should be quite easy. Cos is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. My adjacent will be square root 1 minus P square, and my hypotenuse will be 1. So it's square root 1 minus P square over 1. But because it's over 1, you want to write over 1 or not, it doesn't matter. So this is your cos theta, then you just sub into here, square root 1 minus P square. Then this one will be your final answer.